All right, so let's take a look at this trace bitmap button right here. So this is what everybody wants to know about because that's how you can take pictures and carve them out. All right, so you know, let's start out, let's delete everything here. I'm gonna hit delete and let's find a picture. So I'm just gonna go to Google Images and let's find, let's go to Images and I'm just gonna type in Washington Capitals. All right, so simple picture like this with a few colors, really high contrast, you know, really dark and really light. Something like this would work well. Um, you know, logos work really well. Something like that might work well. But if you have a picture that looks like this with a lot of detail, a lot of detail in here, these ones are not gonna work very well. Um, it's just the nature of the program and CNC machines, is they won't handle it very well. This one, it might. Let's take a look at this picture. I don't know if it'll work well or not, but I'm going to just right click and copy it. I'm gonna come over here, right click and paste. And that gives us a picture. Right. So your bitmap is selected. They call this a bitmap. And again, this is a problem because if I zoom in all the way, I get pixels, I get blurriness. The machine needs a nice, straight, crisp line to follow. So blurriness is no good. Pixels are no good because we don't want it to go, you know, each little pixel right there. We want it to follow a line right there. All right. So we know our bitmap is selected or our raster is selected if it turns dark like that. If I click off of it, that means it's not selected. So if I want to trace this, first I need to select it. If you hit this little bird button, this trace bitmap button, and, it's, uh, and it doesn't do anything, it says no bitmap selected. I need to click my picture. Now it's selected. When you first click it, you have two options. One is color, one is black and white. Most things it's going to be easier if you just click it black and white. All right, so I'm going to go over the black and white one first because that's the one you're probably going to use. So I can see kind of right away it's trying to find edges in the picture. It's doing its best to trace out the image, but it's not perfect. This little bar right here, the threshold when we're doing it, if you bring it all the way down, you can see it becomes lighter and I lose some of that detail. If I go all the way up, it gets darker and I lose some of that detail. So this is where a lot of trial and error will come in. So I, it is, there's no one number that's great for every picture. You're going to have to bring this slider bar up and down to find what looks good. So if I had it just like right here, all right, so here's some options you can play with if you want to, but when I hit preview, so notice I can't hit apply yet. If you're on a laptop, you might have to scroll down to find the preview and apply button. Um, but if I hit preview, you can see the lines right there is what the machine wants to do. So if I hit apply and hit close, so now I have both the picture and I have that vector line on top of it. If I just tried to do this, so let's here, let's delete that. Let's make a V carve with this. I'm going to select that so it turns pink. I'm going to hit calculate. All right, you may get this error right here. What that means is that somewhere along the way it didn't work perfectly. I'm just going to hit continue anyway. All right, say OK. Now I might or I might not get that error that it says is going to cut through. All right, so I got that error that says this is going to cut through my material. That's no good. I'm going to hit OK just to see what it does. So when I hit preview, all right, so you see it cuts through right here, cuts through right there. That's no good. If that happens, it happened this time because I have this border right here allowing the outside because it's trying to find goes from this line to whatever's next. All right. um, 
so that's no good. But let's undo this, undo. But also you notice that doesn't look very good. So let's try to adjust this setting so it looks a little bit better. So I'm just going to delete that. Delete uh, that pink line. I'm just going to delete that again. All right, so let's try this again. Hit that bird button. Let's bring this up a little bit more. All right. So if I go too far, I lose everything when I hit preview. Let's go down a little bit. You can preview that. That one might look okay. Let's go down a little bit more. Let's get a little bit more detail. Hit preview. All right, so that one's not horrible. All right, so I'm going to hit apply on that one and hit close. All right. Let's move that picture out of the way just so we can see it a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to hit my V carve profile. I'm going to select that vector. I'm going to hit calculate. And again, it's probably going to cut through. Hit continue anyway. Hit OK. Preview. All right, so that actually looks OK. But we have the problem that it's cutting through. So if it cuts through, there's a couple things we can do. First thing you should do is try to get rid of that border somehow. If you can, you can get rid of the border. Oh, another thing you can do is you can resize all this stuff. All right. Because that border is attached to some of these shapes, it may or may not look okay. So like it's gonna cut some of his pants off right there. But if I got rid of the border, and let's say we wanna get rid of all this nonsense up here. So I wanna select just some of this if I just hit delete, that's going to delete everything. That's no good. So what I need to do is separate this. I need to ungroup it all. So I'm going to right click, say ungroup, and ungroup back to original layers or group layers, doesn't really matter. And so now they all become dotted lines. So what just happened is everything is now a separate line. So that's its own little line, that's its own line, that's its own line. You'll also notice I get a lot of these little tiny things that don't really look good. But that's part of the tracing and that it's a bad picture. All right. But if I click this and I delete this border, and I can also highlight this stuff and delete that, now this looks a little bit better. And also, it's probably not going to cut through. So when I hit V carve, when I select everything and I hit calculate, continue anyway, reset my preview. So now when I preview this, that looks a little bit better. I mean, still not a great picture. But you notice it's not cutting through everywhere. It's not cutting through because I took out that outer border. Uh, another way to handle that border issue is if I just make a new border around that. So let's just take another rectangle, go around it. And now again, what it's going to do is going to find those two lines to cut in between. Continue anyway, reset my preview, and so now it's going to give me that border, but it's not going to cut all of this out. So when I hit preview, cool. All right, so again, that looks a little bit better. Not perfect, because it's not a very good picture to uh, CNC with. If all of that fails, and let's come back here. Let's go back to my original right here. If all of this fails, there is one other option. So if I highlight it all in my VCarve, this start depth, we set it zero. Always keep that start depth at zero for this project. If I set my flat depth, if I only want to go down halfway, I'm going to set this at 0.25, halfway down. What that's going to do is instead of cutting all the way through the material, it's going to stop at quarter of an inch right there, whatever I set that to. So when I hit calculate, now instead of cutting all the way through, it's just going to stop kind of at that quarter inch depth, or whatever you have it set to, and we'll cut all the way right there. So that looks really good.
However, there is a huge drawback to this. Right here, this little button right here that has a clock on it, this is gives me my estimated times. So this is an estimate of how long it's going to take. It's not exact. But let's hit that estimate. So this first one right here that we tried, that was going to cut through everything, that says it's going to take two and a half hours. That's no good because our class is only 90 minutes long. If it's over about 20 minutes, you should try to do something different. So that second one we tried, 38 minutes. All right. That third one we tried, 44 minutes. So we're going to get that time down. I'm going to show you another thing to get that time down. But this one right here, 2 hours and 42 minutes. So you can see there's a huge time difference between cutting out all of that material and cutting out just the little lines right there. All right. So if you have to cut out a lot of material, that's going to take way too long. Not something we're going to be doing. All right. All right, so as I mentioned, this is just not a very good picture. But the other one thing I want to show you with that bird button is if you just wanted specific colors. So when you originally hit that bird button right there, here, let's start over. Let's delete everything. All right, so when I first hit that bird button, if I hit this color option right here, right away I can see, hey, there's a bunch of colors right here, and I have a bar right here that says the number of colors. So what this is doing, it defaults to, I think, 16. What it does is it looks at my picture right here, and it says, hey, let, where are 16 different colors in that picture? So this picture has lots of reds, lots of whites, lots of blues. Um, so it's finding 16 colors. No matter what colors are in your picture, it's going to find 16 different colors. Uh, we can simplify that. Let's drop that bar down to, I don't know, three colors. Uh, let's, go, let's go to five colors. All right. So now these are the colors that the computer found in that picture. So it found a dark blue. It found a dark red and a light red. It found this kind of brownish color. That's probably a lot of like shadows. And it found this kind of lightish color right here. All right. So let's say I wanted just the red on my picture. So I'm going to click this red, click this red. I'm going to scroll down and hit Preview. And I'm going to hit Apply. So what it just did is it found only the red on my picture. So if I move my picture out of the way, it traced just the red on that. Doesn't look very good, but there might be reasons for it. So like you can see in the logo right there, it did just the red on those wings. All right. So this is an example of a bad picture. Let's not do a bad picture. So let's go back to Google. Let's find a good picture. So something like this works really well because I have nice crisp lines. So I'm going to copy that image, come over here, paste it. All right, so now I only have three colors right here. So if I hit that trace bitmap, that color, again, it's going to try to break it down into 16 colors. That's why it's taking like this one and this one and this one and this one, which are almost identical. But there's very clearly three, pick, three colors, so I'm going to bring that down. And I can say, hey, I want just the white, or just the red, or just the blue. Now, if I do both the red and the white, you see I'm going to lose a lot of that detail right there. So just think about what you're doing. Think about what you're clicking. If you're not sure, hit that preview button. So if I do that, that red and that white goes together. I don't want that. So let's uncheck that one right there. All right. Um, so like a picture like this, probably just the white would look the best. So I'm going to hit that, hit apply, close. All right, let's delete that. All right, so here you go. This is a pretty good picture right here. So if I highlight that, do my V-carve, I can take off that flat depth and hit calculate, reset my preview. This will look really good. 
All right. So the simpler the picture, a lot of times it will look better. All right. If you're not sure, just try it. But if you get a really crazy detailed picture with lots of stuff on there, you know, you're going to lose a lot of that. Like, it's just not going to look good. So if you need help with that, let me know.